right y'all so i am at starbucks i'm in newark and i'm getting ready to get on my trip right now but you know i gotta get some fuel because i got a seven hour flight ahead of me all right y'all so it's gonna be time to board soon i am about to go to london see you in a bit what's up everybody we are here not much of a view just some trees but y'all i want to give you the room tour before i take my nap because i have got to take a nap this window open let's do that okay here we go <laughs> all right let me start at the beginning so this is the room tour i am in london so this room is absolutely tiny perfect amount of space for one person um this is the bathroom shower toilet sink nothing crazy just getting myself situated right here here's me y'all i have an announcement to make we have a fridge and yes it is cold got a few things in here that i brought a little bit of meal prep that i didn't get a chance to eat on the plane i'll talk more about the flight in a bit but we got some cups here we got ourselves a kettle some h and g Teas, organic and fair trade English breakfast. Well, isn't that lovely? Decaf? No, ma'am. There it is. I might take this for the plane tomorrow. What else we got in here? These are actually really good. These shortbread cookies, but I'm gonna pass. So yeah, we got a fridge. We are blessed and highly favored because when I got here, I was so tired. I was like, I hope there's a fridge. So we have a closet. Boom. A little hanger action. Ooh, and there's the other side of the closet, my uniform. Y'all, I was so sad I like ruffled the bed a little bit before I could show y'all because I forgot y'all, I am exhausted. Ooh. Okay, so that's the bathroom light. I need to turn these lights on. Let's see what happens here. Okay, this is a little better. So this is the bed. It feels really nice and soft. I'm excited to get in it. My scarf is not on the bed because it's on my head. <laughs> Got my pillowcase on here. Y'all know I bring my own pillowcase and uh, suitcases right there. We got a little chair. We have some complimentary spring water. The original British Spa Town Harrogate spring water. Two bottles. So I am so freaking happy about this. And uh, we got a little desk and a chair here. Like I said, just getting myself set up, getting some things charged. Y'all remember to bring your international charger, converter, whatever this is called. They don't have USB ports in this room. So if I didn't have this, I would be totally screwed. So yeah, just charge my watch and uh, I'm about to close these blinds. It's baby, it's time for a nap. I will get on camera, but I have eye bags the size of Texas. So I'm gonna take a nap and I will see y'all in a bit. all right y'all good afternoon it is like five hours later i just come to the conclusion that i gotta sleep when i land on these layovers like i cannot i cannot rally anymore i just can't i told myself i was gonna take a two hour nap and i took like a five hour nap but i really needed it i was so tired but y'all we are walking down the cobblestone street right now we are dressed appropriately and i'm about to go i'm gonna be honest with y'all i only <laughs> picked up this trip to eat so we're about to go eat right now i want to get some fish and chips yes i'm gonna be that cliche and i'm gonna go to this place that one of my other flight attendant friends suggested called what the fish and i'm like 12 minutes away so let's see what this is hitting on i'm so hungry it is so quiet out in these streets right now i hope the restaurant has somewhere where i can sit i really want to sit down and eat so we'll see but the weather is perfect, it's like 80 degrees. These streets are kind of a vlogger's dream right now. It's completely dead, empty. I don't know if everybody's taking a nap right now. It's like almost 4.30, but it's also kind of weird <laughs> because every single person that I walk past stares at me because so many, so few people walk past. So it's all part of the game, it's all good, but I would feel a lot less weird if there were more people walking around, but there's like nobody. Anyways, three minutes away. Yo, 
arrived. So I got the cod and chips, classic. I think this is a little bit of ketchup, tartar sauce. And we've got some salt and pepper here with some vinegar. Definitely gonna put some of that on there. This says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Very cool. So it looks like I'm having a proper lunch slash dinner right now. Very excited. Let's get some lemon up in here. So glad they have this little outdoor seating area. A lot more chill. I'm gonna give y'all one bite for the camera and then I'm gonna go in by myself. Let's see here. Oh no. Feels good. Batter's really nice. I'm definitely gonna be adding some ketchup and stuff to it. Gotta tie the hair back, you know. Crispy. Definitely like the texture. Thick fries. Let's put a little ketchup on here. I wonder if this is homemade. Do y'all dip your ketchup or do y'all spread it? I'm a, I'm like one of those people who does like this over the fries. I don't like to, I don't dip my fries and that triggers a lot of people. So if you're triggered by me putting my ketchup on my fries, I, no, I don't, I'm not sorry. I don't care. <laughs> hey, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's good. What is this? This is like pepper. This is like salt. All right, now we're really about to go in. Put some vinegar on my fish. I love vinegar. We're gonna hit it with a little tartar sauce too. Here we go. Let's do it the right way. That's good. I was so excited about this food, I forgot to take a picture for Instagram. Freaking amateur. Anyways, here's my plate before. I'll show y'all after, it's about to be empty. Wow, y'all, that was really good. Those fish and chips were some of the best I've had. The best fish and chips I've had was in Scotland though, in Oban, but that was really good. Walking back now, y'all, I ate the entire freaking plate of food. I can't believe I ate all that food. Like, my appetite has been super duper huge. For like the past year and i used to, i used to be the to-go box queen like guaranteed if we went to a restaurant i would never ever be able to finish my food and now i always finish my food so <sighs> ate every last bite of that food it was very very good what the fish would definitely recommend the crust was a little thick but it was like thick flaky flaky fish crispy really good i wish it was a little more seasoned but the lady gave me like everything i needed to season it there was tartar sauce ketchup salt pepper vinegar so I guess that's how you do it. You just season it yourself. So really good. I have the itis now. I'm so tired. I'm trying to make sure I go in the right direction. I'm gonna go back to the hotel for just a second and then maybe go somewhere else. All right, back out again. Left the sunglasses in the bag. We don't need them. It is cloudy, but look at these trees. This neighborhood is beautiful. I had to pull out the camera. I'm headed to this place called Kyoto Garden. It's supposed to be like a really cute park slash garden type place. I just realized I was walking on the wrong side of the sidewalk. People normally walk down the side of the sidewalk according to whatever way the street goes. And I was walking on the US side of the sidewalk. So I had to switch sides so that I don't run into people or get hit by bicycles so uh, we're good now let's see what this garden's sitting on it's getting kind of late but i need to go for a walk anyways after that meal i keep swerving over to the wrong side of the sidewalk okay here we go this is what international trips will have you doing thinking you're on vacation thinking you're about to go get dessert <laughs> So I went and got tiramisu from this place called Supermarket of Your Dreams. I went there to see if I could find something that I could eat for breakfast because I don't know how much time we'll have before our flight tomorrow. And I have to eat something before the flight. Like I was saying earlier, I, my appetite's gotten so big over the last year and I eat like every two, three hours. I used to be able to skip breakfast and now I can't. So I have to eat something before the flight and I, all I have is a salad, but we're just gonna pray about it. The hotel has breakfast, but it doesn't start till 7 a.m. And our van time is at 7.25. So I really don't have time to eat. I tried that last time in Edinburgh. We had like 15 minutes to eat and I was literally sitting there just like, 
cutting my food and like wolfing it down and stuffing it down and I just want to sit and relax like if I had at least 30 minutes I would do it but 25 minutes if they get me in there right away like it's not enough time and it wouldn't even be 25 minutes because you got to be kind of early for the van or people will side eye you and not be happy with you so anyways so I'm just gonna figure that out tomorrow but we got some tiramisu let's give it a try let's see if it's as good as everything else I've had today That is very good. I hope the coffee in it doesn't keep me up. I'm so sleepy still. But all I've had to eat today was that humongous fish and chips. That's good. So I was gonna go to this place called Kyoto Garden, but when I got there, it was literally just one little strip of sidewalk with like three benches and nothing else. Unless I went the wrong way, maybe I went the wrong way, but it was just really weird and small and I didn't see much of a garden there. So I just was like, I'm just gonna go. But still got to see some good sights. I loved walking around. Fish and chips, like I said, really good. I, I was eating those fries with a fork. Like they were fork fries. So I know I'm so lame for getting fish and chips in London, but I've been craving it for a while. The weather was really good today. Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect to walk around. Very weird though that not a lot of people were out. I don't know if it's due to, you know, the Rona or what, but I was like anxious about sleeping too long because I thought that the streets were going to be super crowded, that the restaurant was going to be super crowded and that I would have to like get my food to go and like eat it on the sidewalk or something. But I ended up being able to sit right outside, no worries. And I'm not complaining that there wasn't a lot of people around, but I think it's a little weird on a Friday, you know, four o'clock on a Friday. I would think it would be like rush hour traffic but it was very it was like 10 a.m. on a Wednesday morning it was just like really weird so if you have any insight to that please let me know um, the flight over here was good it was six and a half hours my crew was good um, I'm working in the back on the beverage car in the aisle of economy. So easy position. I get a little bit. I'm still not quite ready to try to do galley on an international flight because it is a little bit intricate and a lot of work. I could probably, I could learn it and I could definitely do it in economy if I had to do it, but I just really would not want to. And I definitely would not want to do it in first class unless I watch somebody else do it first. So maybe I'll try to work in first class um, another time and just kind of watch whatever the person's doing I mean I'm not really going to but maybe I will <laughs> um because I just really don't want to I just really don't like galley some people love galley but I just really don't but we'll see I don't want to I don't want to the thing is I want to be able to just pick up a trip if I want to pick it up I don't want to worry necessarily about what position it is and not want to pick it up because it's a galley position so I don't know we'll see I've got about 12 hours until the van tomorrow so I'm gonna eat this tiramisu and probably watch some YouTube or Netflix or something and then I'm gonna go back to bed I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to go get back to sleep but I am tired like the itis from that meal is real your girl is about to fall asleep so I'm gonna eat this food let it settle let it you know digest and then I'm getting in the bed I will see y'all in the morning and we are gonna work ourselves back to Newark and we are gonna get on a commuting flight to Charlotte tomorrow after the flight, period. Spoiler alert, that's what's gonna happen tonight. Good morning, everybody. 6.32 a.m. I'm making pretty good time today. I'm actually pretty much ready to go. I just gotta eat. I have a I have a salad that I didn't get to eat yesterday just because it was just way too chaotic yesterday. I didn't want to fiddle with the salad on the plane. There was so much turbulence that we couldn't get the service started until like an hour and a half into the flight. So I just ate my pasta, which is what I made for dinner. And I just didn't want to fool with the salad. We also had way too many flight attendants in the galley. So that wasn't going to happen. I have an applesauce here, some salad dressing, sardines. And y'all, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this nail color, like obsessed. But I also have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I forgot about. So I've got a lot of food that I need to eat right now before going to the airport because y'all know they're gonna throw everything away. Y'all wish me luck, I'm gonna wolf this food down. All right, I hear some doors slamming out in the hallway. I think my crew members are leaving just like I'm about to do right now. I think I packed pretty smart, so hopefully I don't have any problems at security. We are gonna pray for peace, and uh, hopefully I can get a coffee before the flight. So I'm about to head out. I will see y'all there. The worst thing to talk to. And I'd be like, here, and I would like, 
All right, so I got my double shot oat milk latte right here. It's so good. Just waiting to get on the plane. We're a little bit delayed because they're still cleaning the plane. So I'm just waiting to get on and uh, we are headed back to New York. I'm working in the back beverage right economy aisle. I'm on the beverage cart and we have eight flight attendants on a 767 today. So it should be good. I will let y'all know when we get there. Y'all wish me luck. We have, I think the flight's gonna be like over seven hours. So y'all pray for me. I hope we're not delayed because I need to go home. All right, update, I am in Terminal A and I landed from London. We ended up being two hours delayed because of just issues with the plane. So I missed my commuting flight, which I would have gotten a seat on and I would have made it to that flight and I would, have, I would already be home now. So now I'm at American uh, trying to catch this flight. The flight I'm trying to get on right now is full. Um, and the next flight is delayed. So um, really, really um, not happy right now. So uh, we'll see what happens. I just want to get home tonight. It's been a long day. I'm tired to the point of being nauseous. So um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll get home today. Y'all hear that thunder? Your girl made it back home just in time. I can't believe it. Number 25 on the standby list on a completely full flight and I made it. I am in Charlotte. I'm just waiting on my shuttle to come pick me up so I can get to my car and I get to enjoy the rest of my night. I get to enjoy this epic thunderstorm. I hope it thunders and lightning but when I get home so I can watch it. Let me just drive home and get home safe first but y'all I am so happy. I am so happy I got home by God's grace. I'm sure if I had waited and tried to get on that, that next flight that I was going to have to get on if I didn't get on this one, I'm sure it's delayed now. It's not canceled. Like this thunderstorm seems like it's pretty epic. And an epic thunderstorm it was. Speaking of thunderstorms, it has been a thundery whoa. There was just the most epic lightning bolt out the window just now. It's been storming all week here. I feel like it's so special to get to see just an epic thunder lightning storm. And that day was absolutely crazy. There were so many commuters standing there and we were all just hoping and praying to get on. Um, Y'all hear that? See, I'm not lying. There were these two other ladies there. They were senior to me and they got on and it looked like she was about to close the flight up. And I was just like, well, bye, see ya. And then she called my name. I got my ticket and ran down the jet bridge. So we made it. Y'all, that was a really good trip. I'm glad that I've started dipping my toe back into doing international again. Um, the only downside that I have seen to it, besides the flight being really long and I really still don't like that too much. The only downside is like the time changes and it just, it really just, Bloop, takes me out when I arrived I was egg exhausted and um, I just don't <laughs> I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to rally maybe I will one day be able to just get off the plane and take an actual two-hour nap and get up and go out I am I will one day I'm gonna speak that but I can't be out here like this walking around London that's not cute so really good trip my crew was good the passengers were great one thing I noticed about the passengers was they were just really 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 awesome polite nice please thank you even when we were delayed two hours nobody complained it was just it was crazy I was like low-key like are we you know in another dimension right now like just the nicest passengers I've had in a long time both going and coming back to Newark so uh, a really good experience we even got an hour and a half of crew rest on the way back usually if the flight is over seven hours we'll get crew rest so on the way there we didn't get any because it was like exactly seven hours and we were delayed so we really didn't have time or not delayed but there was turbulence so our service got delayed so we didn't have time but on the way back it was closer to eight hours so we ended up getting an hour and a half of crew rest um it wasn't the type of crew rest you might think about when you think of uh flight attendant crew rest in like the bunk beds but it was like we got to just sit and we have like these seats and we get to sit down in them and they're not like lie flat seats or anything like that but they're like behind this curtain and you would never know that they're crew rest seats so that's what we had and it was great so yeah y'all i will be dipping my toes every now and then into international land and i'm excited to see where i'm gonna go next i have some plans i have some places that i want to go 
but you will just have to stick around, stay tuned, and see where we go to next. Still rocking domestic life, but we're gonna be a little bit more adventurous this year. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Okay, so do it. Y'all take good care of yourselves, all right? And I will see you soon for another video. Bye. Oh, 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 o